is going on YouTube? The assist man, and yes, I'm coming back at you guys with another Neverwinter YouTube video. Inside of this video, man, I am chilling in my favorite spot. I've brought so many videos from this area. I just really want to go here in real life. You know, go fishing here, stand on one of these rocks, catch some fish. It's just so beautiful. But anyway, man, that's where I'm at. I'm in an area called Reclamation Rock. And inside of this video, what I want to talk about is what I feel is the most undervalued item in all of Neverwinter. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please do not forget to hit that thumbs up like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel and you enjoy the content, subscribing to my channel is absolutely free. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So we all know that Mod 16, the disaster of it, has started on PC a few weeks ago. We're going to be getting Mod 16 on consoles in about a little more than a month for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Now, I've been saying this for months. If any of you guys have been watching my videos, I've been talking about these things literally since last October. And a lot of you guys, when I made like my last video, when I showed my bag, you were like, what are you doing with all of those? And plenty of times, when I have, you know, went on the game and made videos and, you know, I go to my inventory and all of a sudden, you know, I'm scrolling and people are like, they see my bags. They're like, wow, you have a lot of greater stones of health. Why do you have so many? And I always told people, I told all my guildmates before, I told all my friends that I think that the greater stone of health is the most undervalued item in the game. So any opportunity I can get to buy them for cheap, I'm going to get them because not only do I use them all the time, but I think that they're very undervalued. And that is the topic of this video. I believe that the greater stone of health is the most undervalued item in all of Neverwinter. And I'm going to tell you why. First of all, like I said, I have been getting these things since like literally October of last year and I have not sold any of them. I pretty much just accumulate them. I either buy them off the auction house for, for you know people that sell them for cheap, or I have gotten them out of lock boxes in the past. Now, why did I always hold on to these greater stones of health? Well, first of all, healing potions in this game, they don't do anything for you. Especially with the amount of HP that we have in the game right now, and the amount of HP that we're going to have in Mod 16, I mean, hell, it's like the average character in Mod 16 is pushing nearly 300,000 hit points. And the greater healing potions and the best healing potions in the game you can get are going to heal you for like not even half of that. So what the greater stone of health does is it instantly heals you to full health. When you use this, you get back all your health unlike using a healing potion that only gives you back a small percentage. And on top of that, these greater stones of health, they have 200 charges per stone. So you could heal, fully heal yourself 200 times with just one of these. And you could see, I always have one equipped on my bar. It's on my left D-pad if you look at the bottom of my screen. I always use these things. And I always said, well, it's not like, you know, acquiring them is going to be a bad thing because even if I never do sell them, I'm always going to use them because you're always going to take damage while you're playing the game. You're always going to take damage while you're doing dungeons. So why not be able to fully heal yourself all the time for a very, very low cost? I mean, the greater stones of health have always been really, really cheap. And I always said up until a couple months ago that when all the changes happen with mod 16 people are going to need to use greater stones of health much much more much more because now you're getting hit way more in mod 16 now the enemies are going to be doing more damage to you you're going to be healing yourself way more you're going to have to survive so your people are going to be using greater stones of health a lot more way more than normal now because now you're going to have more people coming back to the game 
to try it out again because a new mod came out. So the player base is going to increase when Mod 16 comes out. Now you might have some new players that come to the game that heard about Mod 16 that want to try it out. So now you're going to have this influx of new and old returning players coming back to the game wanting to play the game and wanting to play the content. Obviously they're going to be playing the content so they're going to have to heal themselves. Greater Stones of Health, like I said, are the best option and the best way to do that. So now, it comes down to supply and demand. Beforehand, the supply of the Greater Stones of Health was much higher than the demand. And anytime I talk about stuff in my video as far as like, you know, like, things that you should buy, you know, things that I feel are undervalued personally, opinions on things, I always look at it from the economical standpoint that I do with everything in life, not just video games, but as far as like collectibles and commerce and stocks and all kinds of stuff goes with the supply and demand formula. It's the, it's the number one thing you need to look at. Anytime you have a high supply of something and a low demand of something, that means that the supply will always outweigh the demand so the people that have them for sale will constantly be undercutting each other thus causing them to be valued and sold for very cheaply. But when you have an item that is much higher in demand and the supply is much lower, then that means that the demand people, the people that want to buy it, will push the price up higher because the supply is lower. So for the past, you know, however long, the supply has always been higher than the demand for greater stones of health, amongst other things. But now I think that the demand is actually going to start outweighing the supply of the greater stones of health. Because, yeah, I've been collecting these things for a while, but on PC, a couple guys told me that they got, they shot up in price crazily. They left comments on my videos. So, for all you guys always saying, oh, I don't play on PC, I don't, guys, I have a PC account on Neverwinter, okay? I don't play on it because I'm a console gamer. But I do have one. That's how I go on there. I was on the preview server the day it came out as well, months ago. So I went on my PC. I loaded up the ARC client, went to Neverwinter, checked the auction house. And now a couple days ago, two or three days ago when I checked, the lowest greater stone of health on the PC auction house was 180,000 AD each. And that's crazy, because if you look on Xbox, now I don't obviously know how much they're selling for on PS4, but if you go to Xbox, and you, you know, you, all you gotta do is type in heal or health on their consumables, go to switch the quality to rare, and you can look and you can see the cheapest ones on Xbox are like 15,000. But here's the problem though, there's not many of them listed for 15,000. Then they go up to, you know, 16, 17, and then 20, and then 25, and then 145. There's only a hundred of them listed on the auction house. So there's not many of these things floating around. Now, why I feel like this is the most undervalued item in the game is because of how much they're actually sold for. I mean, hell, on PC at 180,000 AD each, they might be undervalued as well. Because the reason is you're gonna have to use these. And the thing is, unlike you know, rank 14 enchantments and unparalleled weapon enchantments, you could always unslot those, take those out, and resell them on the auction house. Once you use the Greater Stone of Health, they're gone. You know, it's basically like using a potion. So, these things are constantly going to be used, which means they're constantly going to be disappearing. Now, another thing why I feel that the Greater Stone of Health is extremely undervalued is there are only two ways of getting these things in the game, really. You could either get lucky enough to pull one out of the new lockboxes, or you can go to the Zen market and buy one. Now, currently on the Xbox, our Zen is at 534 to 1 AD. And if you go on the Zen market, you need to go under items. And if you go under items, you will see you will have it for sale. Where is it? Right here. The Greater Stone of Health. So you can buy the Greater Stone of Health from the Zen market. But it costs 1,500 Zen. That's a lot. It's a lot. Now on Xbox, if you were to convert your Astro Diamonds to Zen at a ratio of 534 to 1, it would cost you 801,000 AD to buy one greater stone of health. So the game is telling you these things are supposed to be worth 800,000 AD, but they sell in the auction house for 15,000 AD? That doesn't make sense. I mean... You gotta look at PC now. On PC, the AD ratio for Zen is 750 to 1. 
That means on PC, in order to buy one of these, would cost you 1,125,000 AD if you converted your AD to Zen on PC. But yet they sell on PC for like 180,000 when it costs you like 1.1 million to buy one? Seems a tad bit undervalued to me. Now, a reason why is because another way you can get these greater stones of health is by getting them from some of the new format lockboxes. Now, here's the thing about the lockboxes, though, is that I went over this in the past. Even at 534 um, AD to Zen ratio on the Xbox, with the average key costing 125 Zen, the average key will cost you around 67,000 Astral Diamonds. It's no guarantee that if you open up one lockbox that you are actually going to get a greater stone of health. You might have to open up five to ten lockboxes to get one greater stone of health. So let's just say if you were only opening up lockboxes with the intentions of getting greater stones of health. And they fell at an average ratio of one in five lockboxes, which they're probably more than that. But just let's just say, right? That means you would have to buy five 67,000 AD keys, which would then cost you 335,000 AD just for the chance to hopefully get one greater stone of health. So, yeah, they're not easy to come by. They're not completely rare, but they're pretty rare. And I think that the supply of these things is going to be outshadowed by the demand of these things when Mod 16 happens. And it looks like that has already happened on PC. And when Mod 16 comes out for Xbox One, Xbox, and PlayStation 4, I expect the thing, you know, to, you know, exactly the same way. Now, before any of you guys are like, oh my god, he's only making... Because I get these comments, like, all the time. It's amazing to me that anytime I make a video reviewing a specific item in the game or talking about how something is good in the game, I get comments from people saying, oh, he only made this video to drive the price of that item up so he could sell all the ones he has. Well, that's false. Because, first of all, you need to look at it from this perspective. Why would I tell you that I believe in something? And why would I tell you that something is good and then not own any of them? Because then, that means that I don't believe in the product. I can't tell you that I believe something is the best, and if I don't have it, then that's wrong. If something's the best, or something's good, I want to have some of them. So yes, I have some of them as well. Also, when I make videos about things, I don't try to drive the market up, but people buy them all up, and the market goes up. Any smart person that's holding on to some of them would take advantage and sell them at that time, or wait till they go up even more. So, I don't make videos just to drive up the price on things like I made a video about like the uh uh what was it I, w I did like a review of the um the Gons artifact thing that has all the doohickeys that spin around you and I said how amazing that artifact is and I still think it's one of the most amazing artifacts in the game right here I still have it at mythic I use it all the time the Gons anvil of creation now when I made that video these things were selling for like a hundred thousand and I had like six of them in my bank that I pulled from the packs just chilling because I felt that they were undervalued. Then I made the video about them and people started buying them up because they thought they were cool as well. And the prices on them shot up to like 500,000. Then I sold mine. And the people were like, oh, you're selling yours in the auction house. You only made the video so you can go ahead and, you know, manipulate the market and make tons of money on them. And I'm like, bro, no, that's not what I did. But if people are going to push the prices up on things, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sell them. So, you also need to realize something. I barely play this game anymore. I've said this in the past. I haven't ran a dungeon in this game in over a month and a half. Look how much money I have. I have 27 million Astral Diamonds. I have a fully maxed out character. Every single thing on my character is rank 14. Every single thing I have is unparalleled. Every single companion I have is legendary. Every single artifact I have is mythic. Every single thing I have is the best. I'm an 18,700 gear score player. I cannot improve my character anymore. I have all rank 14s. Look at my companion. My companion has all legendaries. My companion has all rank 14s. Every single thing on my companion is rank 14. What the hell do I need the money for? I don't need the money. I have 27 million AD 
And that's not, I'm going to show you guys just to prove a point. Not only do I have 27 million AD, I also look at the stuff that I'm selling right now. I have a personal beholder tank that's worth at least 10 million that I want 14 million for. I have tons of stuff for sale. I have like 40, 50 million AD. So do you really, really, really think that I need to artificially inflate a market to sell a couple things for a few million AD? No. I don't need to do that. I don't even care about the money. Because like I just said, I have a fully maxed out character with multiple legendary mounts. What the hell can I do with the money? I can't do anything with the money. It's not like I could buy anything else. I mean, damn. I have a legendary Tyrannosaurus Rex. I have a friggin' legendary Tensor's Floating Disc. I have a legendary um, Carpet of Flying that I'm using right now. I have all these things. I don't need anything else. I don't need any money. So if any of you guys are going to say, oh, he's just making this video so he can increase the prices of greater stones of health. No, that's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to give the information to the community because trust me, they've already went up to 180,000 on PC. I mean, they're going to be that high soon on probably Xbox and PlayStation as well. So it's only a matter of time until this actually happens. I'm just trying to educate some people so they could, you know, if you guys don't have any greater stones of health, if you don't have any, pick up a couple. Because you're going to use them, you're going to need them, you're going to be going through them in Mod 16. If you have a couple greater stones of health, don't sell them. Unless the market goes up on them, which I'm sure it will. And then sell them if you want to, but you're still going to need them. So, like I said, I have tons of these things. I'm telling you guys this before I'm making this video and while I'm making this video. People have known that I've had tons of these things for a while. I've been had them, I'm still gonna have them, and if the market goes up on them, I eventually will sell them. I've been holding on to them for months all this time because A, I've been using them like I said, and B, I felt that they were undervalued. So yeah, that's that. So in my opinion, the Greater Stone of Health is one if not the most undervalued items in the game. So like I said, if you don't have any of these and you plan on playing in Mod 16, you're going to be taking a lot of damage. So it's probably in your best interest just to pick up a few of them to use them. And uh, if you have some, unless you really, really need the money, hold on to them. Because you're probably going to need to use them. Like I said, they're important. Um, you're going to be taking a lot more damage in Mod 16. You're going to be getting hit way more. So you're going to be using Greater Stones of Health way more, which means everybody's going to be using Greater Stones of Health way more, which means everybody's going to be going through them at a rapid rate, which means more people are going to have to buy them. And that's exactly what's going on on PC right now. So this is just a heads up to you guys and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, man. And if you did, you know what to do, baby. So anyway, YouTube, this is the Assist Man. And until next time. I am out.